welcome back to my channel this blue eyeshadow look you guys was so highly requested on instagram i even did a poll and you guys were like yes please film this um i actually filmed that look <laughs> our power went out we had like this huge like ice storm well, not huge but we had an ice storm here in oregon and our power was out for two days and the next morning on saturday we still had no power and so i just decided you know what i had no service either you guys i had no service at all um and so i told my husband like you know what i'm just gonna play with makeup and play in front of my window it was super cloudy and i was like okay it was like around one or two and it starts to get dark right now like around four or five and i was like i need to hurry up and do this look <laughs> um and so yeah i feel like it turned out pretty great um, for doing it uh, with no studio lights um, and not filming it filming it in my makeup room I literally took it old school and sat right in front of my window um, Right now it's raining. It's so ugly right now in Oregon and this weather depresses me Does anybody else get depressed with like cold rainy weather? Give this video a thumbs up if you are that person I don't know what's what sun you guys it makes me feel so much more alive it makes me feel happy It makes me want to get things done when there's sun you know i don't know if that's just me then i'm weird but if it's not please give this video a thumbs up um so anyways you guys really liked that blue eyeshadow and you guys already know me i love to play with colorful eyeshadows and i just love eyeshadow i'm like such an eyeshadow addict it's, it's my weakness <laughs> um okay so i'm gonna be using um, some brand new products um, from Jaw Cosmetics. If you guys are not familiar with Jaw Cosmetics, she is like this crazy talented makeup artist on Instagram. I will link her page down below for you guys. Um, but her page is amazing. Every time I look at her Instagram, I get so inspired to play with eyeshadows. And it's actually eyeshadows that I can wear, you know, or that us can wear throughout the day, like for an event. Um, it's just really pretty and uh, I don't know, it makes me weak in the knees. Um, so they reached out to me and I was like, oh my gosh, what? <laughs> I was so in shock and I was like, I didn't know what to do with myself. And they sent over a bunch of like her pigments and uh, cut crease brushes, which I'm sure you guys have seen here on my channel. Um, but I'm going to be playing with one of their crushed pigment pots in the shade called Chillax, which is the main shade that we're going to use for all over the lid. Um, I just had to play with this and I'm going to show you guys how to use it. Um, and also what I've noticed that they sent over, well obviously I noticed, but they sent over her three cut crease brushes. And I love, they're a little dirty because I used them yesterday. Well, not dirty because I washed them, but they're dirty, you know, because I used them yesterday. But these three, what I love about these, you guys, is that you have three different sizes. So you have the bigger one, you have the middle one, and you have the smaller one to create um, any size of cut crease that you want. Some people like to use, you know, like more smaller, precise, flat um, concealer brushes to cut out their crease or create a half cut crease. I personally love to use these two, the medium and the bigger size. The small one, sometimes if I'm really going in there, very detailed, um, but I'm a desespero with a little one, so I just have to go into a, a medium one and a bigger one, which, which gets the job done a lot faster. And she's really well known for her cut creases, um, and so when I got my package and I saw that she included these, I was like screaming. I was so excited. <laughs> Brows are already completely done. Um, for the primer, of course, you guys already know whenever I go into really crazy eyeshadows like these and I want them to stay and I want them to show my Urban Decay Eden Primer. This stuff is amazing, you guys. I love this so much. I have to go back and buy a new one because I'm almost out. Also, I have my nail appointment on Friday. I'm so excited because she needs to get these done. Look at those. Oh my god. <laughs> And you guys already know the way that I apply it. I just carve out my brows and then I apply it all over my lid. Now you don't have to use this. If you don't have this, you're more than welcome to use concealer or whatever eye primer that you have. And you don't have to use as much as I do. I'm just used to applying this much. Um, so yeah, do as your little heart desires. For the brush, I'm gonna go into the Jaw CC number three brush, which is the thicker, bigger brush. Okay, so I zoomed you guys in so you can get a more up close and personal of the eyeshadow today. I have three palettes here on my um, desk. So I have the James Charles and I have the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette. 
and then the 35 Sweet Oasis palette. Um, I love Morphe eyeshadows. I feel like they're really good quality. Um, and I just always seem to always go into these palettes whenever I want to create something very colorful. Going into the James Charles palette, I'm going to go into this blue, which is we're going to use this as our main transition shade. I'm going to this smaller Morphe detail brush because I really want to you know, carve out my cut crease or half cut crease. I love to just pat the eyeshadow in like this. And you guys are more than welcome to follow along. If you don't have any of these palettes, it's okay. Use whatever you have at home. Um, but I love to pack the eyeshadow in like this. And I go in my crease, my natural crease. And I pack that on and then again with whatever I have left I just start to now go back and forth I just want to keep it like right here because since we're doing a half cut crease we'll go ahead and fill this section out in a little bit for now I just want to focus on this also did you guys notice I changed my background <laughs> for the million time <laughs> This again is just temporary because I'm still trying to figure out my life on how I want my background to show. But I just want to let you guys know in case you've noticed it. Okay, so now I'm going to go back into the James Charles palette, picking up this shade right here and still using that same small detailed brush. I'm going to pick some of that blue and we're going to go ahead and apply it right here in the crease. We're just going to buff this out and it's okay if you get it into the first eyeshadow. Um, I've noticed that it actually helps to make both of these look nice and blended together um, and you still get the same color payoff for both so you're not losing both colors um, it just helps to really look make this look nice and blended and smooth now I'm switching over to my morphe m433 and I'm just picking more of that second blue shade and just buffing it in the crease and then just smoothing out any harsh lines I switched because I like how the morphe m433 blends out my eyeshadow without it looking super rough or harsh not that this one does this one's great to apply the pigment um but it doesn't get so small it doesn't blend as much as this one does of course because of the size so i just love to go in here with a very soft light hand and start to move the product and start to blend it out so it looks nice and soft Okay, so now you guys, I'm going to go into a purple. So from the same palette from the James Charles, I'm going to be picking up this shade. And what we're going to do is start to apply it right in the crease. And we're just going to build up that intensity. I didn't want the eyeshadow to look just super blue. I, do, I did want a hint of purple in there, some turquoise. And at the end of the day, it kind of reminded me of like a mermaid look <laughs> as we build up the colors um totally not what i was going for i just was like doing the blue and i was like i don't just want to do blue like is there another color we can add and i was like let's add some purple and you guys can already see it makes such a huge difference it makes it a little bit more darker but yeah it's not like just blue blue so i'm just patting in that shade and then just start to with a very light hand start to blend that in we're gonna go into the jaclyn hill volume 2 palette picking up this nice purple shade right here and still using the same morphe m433 picking up some of that shade and we're gonna go ahead and place it just right here on the crease on top of that purple shade it doesn't do a huge difference but you can see some more purple in there picking up the shade called sail away which is this blue right here guys is still use the same morphe m433 and we're gonna go ahead and apply this really close to that blue shade and i work in sections and we're just gonna blend this in that's the last shade we're gonna use to blend out the edges so you want to work in sections like i said you don't want to overdo it okay so now i'm going to go back into that morphe m433 brush taking it back into that first blue shade that we used in the very very beginning and we're going to pat that towards this outer corner and continue to build up that intensity and i like to slant my brush like this and just pat away 
flick some of the product outwards. I'm gonna go back into that purple shade again from the James Charles palette and then just flick. Going back to my um, Urban Decay Eden Primer and using the Jaw CC number no. 3 brush, again, I'm gonna go ahead and start to create my half cut crease. But with this cut crease, you guys, it's a little bit different. So you're gonna go from like really low down here. Um, it's hard to explain, but you guys will be able to see it in the tutorial. Uh, so I'm going to start very low like this and then bring it up pretty high up and then bring it down again this way and then just fill in the main lid and then we'll fill out the outer corner. Now I'm going to go back into that Morphe M433 um, that we've been using a lot. So I'm going to go back into that blue shade from the James Charles palette and just pretty much tap again and just kind of flick the outer corner a little bit and then just go back into that purple shade one more time okay so now it's time to apply the main lid shade you guys which is from jaw cosmetics uh, this is called the crush pigment pot in the shade called chillax look how pretty this is you guys and then to apply i'm going to go into the violet voss glitter adhesive um i love to use this for crush pigments like this or just anything very shimmery okay so i'm going to take that glitter adhesive from violet voss and i'm going to apply it on the back of my clean hand and just apply it like that and then i'm going to go into that crush pigment with this MAC 239S brush, I believe, and we're picking up some of that product, but I'm applying it on the back of my hand on top of that glitter adhesive. Now we're go going to go ahead and just place it. Look how pretty this is. And we're going to apply it all on the lid, except for this inner corner, because we're going to go in with a different shade. And then once you get towards this outer corner, you guys, just kind of like flick the product like that and just scooch whatever you have left going towards this outer corner. And then I'm going to go into the Jacqueline, Jacqueline help, to the 35 Sweet Oasis palette, picking up the shade called Island Hop, which is this one right here. And I'm going to pick some of this up. You don't need any setting spray or fix plus. This is so bright. And we're going to place it right here in the inner corner. And I really love this touch. Like, oh so so pretty so i'm gonna go into that another that clean morphe brush that we used back into that shade called island hop which is the one that we use in the inner corner just a little bit we're gonna hit just the brow bone right here for primer i'm gonna go into the pore professional pore primer from benefit so for that primer you guys i just went ahead and applied it on my t-zone that's pretty much where i have like my pores and i don't like pores that i don't like to be seen um, so for foundation today, I'm going to go into, of course, the Morphe um, and brand new foundation um, in the shade Medium 16. And I'm using a complexion brush from Alamar Cosmetics. For concealer, I'm going to go into my Hourglass in the shade Sepia. This concealer is so bomb. I love it so much. I always hype it up because it really is really good. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and just apply it in the areas where I always do. For the cream contour today, you guys, I'm gonna go into Milk Makeup Cosmetics. This is their foundation stick in the shade called Golden Tan. And I'm gonna use this um, with my Luxie brush. This is their foundation, precision foundation brush. Unfortunately, the number is rubbed off, but if I find it, I will link it down below for you guys. To blend out my concealer, I'm gonna go into my e.l.f. Camo sponge and then just to um, blend out any harsh lines from the concealer. I'm going back into that um, Luxie Beauty brush to blend out any harsh lines. For highlight, you guys, I'm going to go into the Ether Beauty highlight. This is their Supernova Crush Diamond Highlighter. And I'm going to apply this down the bridge of my nose. Um, it's super pretty. I love it. Um, I'm just going to apply some on my forehead because I love when I take a picture and my forehead looks nice and shiny. <laughs> going back to that foundation stick, you guys, and I forgot to cream contour my nose. Um, my nose is pretty simple. I just like to apply two straight lines going down. Take it up into my brows a little bit. And then under my, the tip of my nose. To set my concealer, I'm going to go into, of course, you guys already know my obsession, the One Size Translucent Powder. And I'm just going to set the areas where we place the highlight, which is our concealer. Now to bronze, you guys, um, to set the cream contour, I'm going to go into the Maybelline City Bronzer in the shade 200. And I've been loving this fluffy brush from Ofra Cosmetics. I'm doing a voiceover, you guys, because there's construction outside. <laughs> so I'm going to go into this Milk Makeup. It's just a blue eyeliner for under my lash line. And then with whatever these shadows that we use in the crease, 
we're obviously going to bring them down towards the bottom. Taking this Nabla nude pencil, I'm going to apply it in my waterline and then I'm just going to dust off the remaining powder um, and blend it into the skin. Um, next, I'm going to apply my mascara, the Roller Lash from Benefit, and apply a couple of coats towards the bottom lashes. And the blush that I'm going to go into is from KKW Beauty. This was in the collab with Mario and it's called Very Graceful. I'm really obsessed with this color. Um, it's super subtle. It's not crazy, um, overpowering, and it's very buildable. You guys can see a little bit of that um, peachy pinky in there. Peachy pinky. <laughs> Some of that peachy pink color. Um, on my cheeks and it's very easy to apply for lips um, today I'm gonna go into this lipstick well two lipsticks one or lip pencil I'm gonna go into the KKW Beauty this is in the shade called lip line lip liner <laughs> beauty icon in collab with Mario and then we have the color pop cosmetics um, in the shade called BFF, which is more on the lighter side. So I'm gonna go into my Hank and Henry. This is the shade 1985. This lipstick, you guys, is absolutely beautiful. I love that it's completely nude. It is so nude, but it fits perfect with this um, lip pencil because we have this under. I'm gonna go into a lip wand. These, these are disposable, so you wanna throw these away after you use them and just blend out the lipstick into the lip liner. And with applying two lip pencils, you guys, like we did, it does allow the lipstick to grab onto that lip pencil and allows your lipstick to last all day. I am more of a matte girl, so I'm gonna leave it just like this, but you can apply a lip gloss on top as well. Um, to set my makeup, you guys, I'm gonna go into, of course, the new Benefit. This is the Professional Super Setter Spray. All right, you guys, and that is it for today's makeup look on this blue smoky eye. I don't know what, what I'm gonna call this video just yet. Um, I had so much fun doing this look. You guys all wanted to see it. I posted it on Instagram and you guys went bananas and you guys really wanted me to do this for you. Um, so here it is. I hope you enjoyed it. I also included my skin, which a lot of you guys like to see that in my videos. If you like that, please give it a big thumbs up. Any questions that you guys have that I missed in this video, you guys already know that you're more than welcome to always comment down below and I will reply to you guys. If you do recreate this and you felt inspired, don't forget to tag me so I can post you on my IG stories. Cuídense mucho, besitos, los quiero, and I'll see you in my video, in my next video, very, very soon. Bye!